Welcome back here to the channel everybody. Hopefully you're having a good one. In today's video we're going to be going over two things and um, they are definitely creepy indeed and they have to do with the deep web mystery box. If you guys did enjoy today's video then drop a like, subscribe if you are new for more creepy and scary videos uploaded here to my channel daily. Don't forget to turn on those notifications and without further ado let's begin. And wrap this up quick because I know you guys aren't into the whole commentary thing so we'll get into the video here shortly but there are two things that I want to cover. A I'm going to be opening up the mysterious package of substances that was actually in my previous mystery box from the deep web video. Something similar to the one that I received in my very first unboxing video that I did about a month ago. It contained nothing but spices. We're going to go ahead and open this one. I've been waiting a little bit. I've been debating on it mostly because due to the fact that it could be some sort of illegal substance. Could be drugs, could be some sort of like poison, I don't know. But we're going to be opening it live. And the reason why I was actually putting this off so much is because of a recent story on Reddit that you guys can go read and it is a true story of someone who actually bought a mystery box from the deep web that went extremely wrong. Opened it, it contained ricin. Now if you guys don't know what ricin is, it's a very deadly untraceable drug that some people have used to either assassinate people or to drug them to at least kill them. It is an extremely dangerous, dangerous poison and drug. If you want to do research, I suggest to do it on your own, but do be careful because if you do your research online and whatnot, most likely you'll be put on some sort of watch list. So I'm going to try and not say that as much, you know, in this video. But there was an individual who actually went ahead and received a deep web mystery box, opened it, and it contained nothing but poison. The reason why they actually figured out that it was rice in itself is because because his buddy that was there with them was an off-duty cop. But funny enough, he worked in the drugs department, so he was able to identify this very mysterious drug known as ricin. And you can probably guess where the story went. The box was traced and all that kind of stuff. Basically, to sum it all up, is that those people that opened the box were sent to the hospital and you know, it, it is very dangerous, and I'm not gonna lie, if you are gonna partake in this trend of opening up mystery boxes, there could be some potential danger in what you're doing and that's why I was taking a little bit more time and I wanted to be more cautious before opening this next envelope that contains some sort of weird substance and I hope it's not anything dangerous. So we're going to just cut to the footage here of me opening it and we're just going to take a look and see what it is. If you guys did enjoy today's video then drop a like, subscribe if you are new and uh, let's jump right into it. So what I have here is the tin foil wrap that was in the previous deep web mystery box. I tore off the sticker because I wanted to see if there was any sort of like label underneath it. I'm just going to go ahead and open this. I have gloves here because due to that story I'm not about to open this thing to have some sort of dangerous poison. So if I get stapled or it's like taped or anything but nonetheless something else could be in here. What is that? It's like all over. Yeah, and it's all over my desk. Is this... What is this? Is this, I want to say this is like drugs. This is definitely not like, this almost looks like salt. Like I want to smell it. I'm not mistaken that I think that's baking powder. I I wanna taste it, but I'm not gonna take any sort of like risk. Weird. Actually after taking a look at this I called someone and we have come to the conclusion that this is actually baking soda. I don't, know if this is, I don't know if the person who sent this to us was like hoping that we would be just dumb enough not to like second guess it and just think it's drugs or something like that. This is baking soda. 
After putting it in the water, you can kind of see like what colors it is and whatnot, and my friend actually put it on his tongue. And yeah, it, it was a very dumb move, but we tested it out, and it is in fact baking soda. So they literally just gave us that box filled with nonsense and a tin foil piece of just nothing but baking soda, which I totally thought was like drugs or something as soon as I opened this. So that is unfortunate, but I mean, not that this was drugs or anything, but um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Honestly, I thought that this was going to be a little bit more like intense or insane, but nonetheless, it's still strange that they would put baking soda in a tin foil envelope and send it to us. So. Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then drop a like. Subscribe if you are new for more creepy content uploaded here to my channel daily. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. I will talk to you guys in the next video. I'll be going over a couple things because he is in a little bit of trouble um, with getting his information leaked. He's going through something that he did, he already went through uh, about a month ago with the first deep web video that I made with this mystery box. His information was leaked. However, um, if you guys watched my previous video of the $100,000 one, my computers were literally taken over remotely. And same thing with my laptop. There was a video that was being streamed on my laptop of what seemed to be three hooded figures that I'm going to be playing again here in this video. That actually original MOV file was sent to my friend and his webcam turned on, my webcam turned on. I have videos, footage, proof, everything is going to be showcased in this video. But it seems as though that we have some sort of a stalker slash following um, that has followed us from these particular sites that we purchased these deep web mystery boxes from. So this video is just kind of showing, uh, you know, showcasing what is going through. I have a list here of all things that have taken place. So the first thing was the first thing that happened with myself and my friend who actually purchased these for me on the deep web. Both of our um, webcams were mysteriously turned on. Now I have a history on my channel of an actual stalker so I've actually had all of my computers webcams either taped or disconnected and in the move I am currently living in a new place um, and during the move I had to take all of my stuff apart including the tape that was over my camera and I just did not get um, I just haven't had time to put a new one on I come home the other day and my green webcam light is on my Mac and it is on same thing with my friend he texts me a picture of his webcam turned on both of ours were literally on at the exact same time so we don't know how to explain that but it is very mysterious the second thing is, is that my friend actually just had a baby and he received pictures and text messages from work of his baby monitor and literally his child was asleep in the crib and his wife was uh, was downstairs while he was at work he received screenshots of his baby monitor of his child sleeping in her crib it was just screenshots from the live video feed that was in the baby's room he received just it was from an unknown number he tried to report it he even went to his carrier to see what was going on the number was just a dead end there was it was not connected to any sort of like line or service but he received I believe it was four images I would be showcasing them here but he did not want me to showcase just for privacy reasons which I totally understand so his webcam turned on my webcam turned on he received pictures of his child asleep from the baby monitor which truly shook him up and I can't tell you enough how like terrifying that must have been for him because as soon as something like that happens it is just completely all downhill he also received pictures of his home. This was from Google Map. I'll be showcasing a couple of them on screen. However, they have been blurred for, again, privacy reasons. He received these following pictures on his email when he was away at work, once again.